Welcome back. If you ever thought handloom and glamour don't go together, well think again. I'd suggest that you shift your focus to the Symphony of Weaves, a handloom ensemble which was held to celebrate Handloom Week. From Varanasi silk dresses, Bengali kurtas to Anga Vastras, the traditional handlooms of India gained a new dimension at the Symphony of Weaves fashion show. These handcrafted outfits, each radiating a blend of talent, labour and colour, were showcased by a host of striking models. So this is the integration show. It's a tremendous show. I, I never seen in my life. This is the first time I saw the show. Very beautiful. All beautiful girls with uh, handloom dresses. This is tremendous. The designs represented the craftsmanship from various parts of the country. And this included Naga weaves, Northeastern silks, mystical Bengali collections, and a southern fresco as well as vibrant western ensembles. All the outfits are great, they're completely wearable, their fabric is fantastic, except for this one, which is slightly hot, maybe it's not from Madrasity. But the other outfits are completely really nice and uh, I can wear them outside for a party, I can wear them you know, just for casual wear. The fabric was so pleasant and nice, summer here and Madras considering the weather over here which is really warm and hot. I think it will do really well and plus it's handloom so eco-friendly and all of that. Master artisans across the country, India's handloom were transformed into elegant and contemporary fashion statements to represent the new classic sheet. industry is the second largest occupation of our agriculture in the country. A lot of people are not aware of it. So if I look at the volume of the people involved in this industry, it's huge. So if we talk about fashion and handloom together, fashion obviously is a, it's in a still a early stage in the country, it's booming. Uh, you have this recession, economic, and then uh, the orders from abroad coming down. But there's a revival taking place, it's, it's uh, on a silver lining. And people, especially in the Europe and the Oriental belts like Japan, Korea, they are looking at handloom with a lot of curiosity and a lot of demand. A, there is an eco-friendly quality to the whole structure of handloom. And today, if you order a sari in the way you want it, the color combination, the motive, it's custom-made. So you might not have a replicate of that. So you have the custom-made concept, you have the eco-friendly concept, and government is coming out great guns to support the industry. combination of fashion and culture. 
It was a moment of pride and glamour for the handloom industry, which aims to encourage the youth to indulge in this eco-friendly and cultural alternative. The saying, all that glitters is not gold, is certainly true in this case. What is it then? Shall we find out? NAC may be known for their traditional gold jewellery, but they believe in keeping pace with the current trends. So their latest collection of dazzling beauties are made of the pale silvery element called platinum. We have launched 1000 diamond bangles. These 1000 diamond bangles have started in 18 karat gold, 22 karat gold and platinum. We have one of the largest collection ever. See, for some time we have been thinking that everybody celebrate a diamond festival and come out with a 5% and a 10% discount. But I want to do something different, something realistic. That's why we went for this. And more than that, each bangle is designed and manufactured. And every bangle comes with a guarantee card wherein the handwritten drawings are imprinted in that. We import our diamonds from Belgium. Because of the diamond direct imports, uh, we get a concessional rates, and those concessional rates we are passing out to the customers. That is why we have come for the first time as lowest diamond prices in Chennai. NAC claims that the platinum bangles crafted with diamonds and gold are part of the largest collection of bangles and bracelets ever seen in the city. And it doesn't end with the sparkling launch. There will be a 50-day exhibition at Mylapore too. It was really great to wear all those jewels and it was unique and when I wore it, I felt like I was in heaven. It was really awesome to wear all the pieces and even I hold one uh, kada bangle. It was really amazing. I felt very great to do this show. very nice while walking the ram and when I wore the jewellery I felt so elegant and beautiful and the jewellery was so beautiful, damn beautiful and the collection was very different from you know other, brand, other brands so I really felt very beautiful and you must go and buy the jewellery if you have money in your pocket but it was very nice, I really enjoyed walking the ram and the collection was superb. It was very different and unique, the bracelets which we wore, no, it was completely different. They were made up of fine crystals and it was very good and very elegant. I, I really liked the entire stuff. pleased to be here and on behalf of GIA that we had the opportunity to meet uh, the industry here in Chennai. Uh, GIA is, as you know, the, or as I mentioned earlier, the world's foremost authority in gemology. And there is a huge demand here for the solitaire diamonds, uh, especially the certified diamonds, so that the consumer knows what quality they are buying. And um, we have a facility here now in Bombay. So we will be here to meet the industry and tell them that we can service their needs. And also we have a lot of education uh, programs. There are many young uh, individuals who want to enter this industry and uh, maybe they don't know where to start. And we can be their answer.
What's more is that with every bangle you buy, you're contributing to a good cause. Managing Director of NAC, Ananta Patmanabhan, inaugurated the Anantam Foundation, dedicated to building a home for the aged and educating the underprivileged. A portion of the NAC's annual profits will be donated to this trust. Moving on, right after the break, Chennai Life brings us the turkey eating competition, followed by carol singing at the city centre.